Hi y'all. Welcome to the Messy Studio. Hey y'all. Today's project is going to be something a little bit different. Before we get into the project, I wanted to take a second to introduce you to the music that you'll be hearing in this video and many of my uh, future videos. It's by a local friend of mine who has one of the most amazing guitar collections I've seen. He loves Coca Bolo and he's got an absolutely gorgeous Coca Bolo acoustic guitar. It's just mind blowing. He's in the process of getting another one made of Coca Bolo and carbon fiber, if you can believe that. Anyway, Alcavazos is the guitar player's name. So sit back, relax. Enjoy the video and enjoy the great guitar playing. And if you feel so impressed, give him a little love with a comment down below. Thanks. It's a project for my oldest granddaughter. She's getting married in July and she asked me to make her uh, something for the wedding. Basically, it's the the stand that holds the unity candle and the two smaller separate candles. Uh, the picture that she sent me, she found a wooden one somewhere and they wanted more money than she could afford to spend on it. So I'm going to make her a unity candle stand. I'm not really sure what to call it. Uh, but this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be specialized and uh, and she doesn't know what it's going to look like. So stay with me. It's going to be a combination of uh, several different woodworking techniques. Uh, some flat work, some hand carving with a router, and some turning. So stay with me and I'll show you what I come up with. For this piece I'm going to use a piece of pecky cypress. Uh, I was preparing this for something else several years ago. All of the pecky spots have been full, filled with wood filler. This is actually going to be the back where I'm going to carve my name and the date. And I'm actually going to carve my name and the date in the back of this. This is the front. The sides are going to be a little curved. Unity candle is going to go here in a little platter that I'm going to turn and glue on and the candle holders will go on either side. I'm going to put their names here and here and I'm going to carve those in and I'm going to put that here in the middle and carve that in as well. This is the Celtic symbol for family unity at least that's what it was labeled when I found it. The only place I've ever seen this was on a, on a piece of jewelry. I adapted it and it has become a family tattoo and so I'm putting it on here. So first thing is firsty. I'm going to put the date right up here. This transfer method uses acetone on a laser printer. That's good enough for me to be able to see the route. Man, I will be glad when I get into my new shop where I have room to do stuff. I gotta tell you, this Cypress car is really nice. I'm going to have to come up with a better transfer method. If I had put wood sealer on this, it might have been better. But I've got enough on there to see my original lines. So I'll just hand draw it like I did the original to start with. 
no sense in wasting battery or storage while I'm drawing. All right, got it all drawn up. Got my depth set on my profile bit. The names are going to be inset. This black will be inset. I had this piece of oak left over from the pedestal of that one box, so I'm going to cut me a tenon over here, turn around put it in the chuck. Now, this is just an experiment, really. I'm using this purple acrylic paint the same way I used that white mist dye on this tool handle. I think I'm liking it. Now for the two small candle holders. I believe this to be red bud, but I'm not 100% positive. One of the drawbacks of filming while you're doing a project is being so busy that you forget to look at the camera. Because <laughs> when the card gets full, you just keep working because you don't know it shut off. Well, that happened. So here's how far we got. I got this cleaned up. I got it sprayed. This is just sitting on here for now. I cut these out of red bud for the main candles. Uh, I'm going to glue these with purple epoxy into these holes that I cut with my with a Forstner bit. I've still got to paint the, the names. I'm going to paint those purple. And then I'm going to sand it all down. Well, before that, when I come back in the morning I'll chamfer all of these edges and get everything sanded up and then I'll paint the names no then I'll paint the names and the paint the edges and then I'll get everything sanded back up so I'm gonna let all of this dry overnight I'll be back now I'm gonna turn this down a little more to that and I'm gonna make three feet
Got an eighth inch round over bit in. I'm going to round over the top and then turn it over and round over the bottom. All right. Nice and rounded it in. Give this a good coat of shellac because I'm fixing to spray these edges and I don't want it to soak in. I don't mind if it soaks in the edges. I don't want it soaking in over here. Yeah, I could use a stain on this, but it is just the bottom. Thought I had a charge, battery died. All right, now, the, the purple that I used down here is what I'm gonna put in here. She is not expecting this at all. She's expecting something like she showed me. She's my girl. I want her to be happy and I want this to be something that she will cherish. And I'm pretty sure that this is the trick. She mows my yard for me sometimes when I'm hurting too bad. doesn't ask me to pay her and she's my shooting buddy I take her shooting every chance I get I taught her to shoot when she was 12 she can out shoot most men I know yeah I know you think I love her I do okay I'm gonna let this paint all dry up good let this dry for a few hours and then I'll come back with my belt sander and sand the top and the bottom blow it all out mount these candle holders here I gotta sand the tops of these up mount these in purple acrylic I mean in purple resin or epoxy and mount the feet on the bottom then shoot it with satin polyurethane and I'll be done. So I'll be back. I knew all that would sand off, but oh well. Alright, well I'm letting this dry. I'm going to drill the holes in these for the screws for the feet and I'll get them attached. Battery died again. I thought I had it charged. I got the feet screwed on. Made these out of red bud. You saw me turn those. Okay, 
bottom is dry. I'll turn it over now and do the top. Come back in a half hour, steel wool it, shoot it again. So here it is, all done. Got a little feet on the back, so it's nice and stable. I think she'll like it. I hope she will. It's for my baby. It's still a little tacky. Oh, I like that one. What do you think? I like it. You like it better than that white yes. circle you sent me a picture of? Yes. You reckon that'll work? I mean, I think it will be fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching y'all. Come back and see us. Please like, share, subscribe, and come back here to Messy Studio and see what we get into next. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I know I need to start packing up my shop, get ready for the move. Thanks a lot y'all.